I'm going to quickly show you three potential solutions to fix this specific error that happens when you try to run some programs. I'm going to start by showing you the simplest solutions first before getting to the advanced in-depth ones. For method one, start by searching up CMD and open command prompt as administrator. Type SFC space forward slash scan now in the terminal and press enter. Now wait for the scan to complete. Check if this worked for you or not. For method two, go to this link that I've linked in the description, then download this file. Now extract the file. Run the file named install all. Now go through the full installation process. This might take a couple minutes. Once the process is done, check if this method worked for you. Don't worry if none of these methods worked for you so far. This last method should fix the error since we are going to analyze what file is failing and causing the error. Click on the link in the description and download Microsoft's Process Monitor. This program will allow us to actually see exactly what goes wrong when we try to run the broken application. Once it's downloaded, extract the file. Then run Procmon. Agree to the TOS. Right now, this program is capturing every single event that is happening on our PC. Let's stop the capture for now by going to File and clicking on Capture Events. Click on the eraser icon to clear all the old events. Then click on the filter icon. From the first drop down menu, select process name. Then open up the application in which you get the error for. Now type the exact .exe name of the application in the empty box. Click on add and click OK. Now go to file and click on capture events to start the event capturing again and then open the broken application. Keep the pop-up open for a couple seconds to allow for more events to be captured. Click on Capture Events to stop the capturing process. Under the Result column, find a result with the tag Name Not Found. Right-click on it and click on the option Highlight Name Not Found. Every file with the tag Name Not Found should now be highlighted. Expand the Path column to see the path of the files better. Now what we should be doing is we should be looking at highlighted name not found files through this whole list. Keep an eye out for any .dll files that appear highlighted many times. Ignore any dll files that are only highlighted once or maybe twice as it's unlikely that these are broken files. If you notice the same dll file highlighted more than a couple times then we could safely assume that that DLL file is broken or corrupt. Here in my case, we see the DLL file named xinput1 underscore 3 appear many times as name not found. We can safely assume that something is wrong with this specific file and it's causing the error. Now note down this specific name of this DLL file and go to your C drive, Windows, and System32. Now search for that specific DLL file. I recommend you use the search bar up there. Once you found the correct file, delete it. In my case, I'm going to delete xinput1 underscore 3 dot DLL. Go back to Windows and open up the folder named syswow64. Look for the same file and delete it. Now go to the link in the description and download the DirectX setup. Once it's downloaded, open it. Click on I accept the agreement. Make sure to uncheck Install the Bing Bar option. This is unwanted software that Microsoft is trying to get us to install. Once it's unchecked, click on Next. The installation process should begin now. What this application will do is that it would detect the missing DLL files and install correct new files. Now the missing DLL files should have been downloaded and your problem should be fixed now. As you can see, this application works for me now. I hope your issue was fixed too. Let me know if it did work.